We've just received word from the fleet. They've engaged the Borg. Welcome, I'm Joseph of Borg. This is the second in a special series about CDBD products that I'm doing. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode, I'm going to put a card up so that you can click on that and go get the background for the situation uh, and find the first installment there. In the description and info down below, you'll find a link if you do want to check into these products. I'll have a link there for the information sheets for the products because I wasn't able to completely capture the labels uh, due to the uh, my equipment. Uh, my phone just doesn't do a good enough job to capture uh, it with detail. There will also be a link if you want to check these products out for yourself. Uh, I figured the least I could do since Mindy was kind enough to arrange for me to get some of these products uh, for free to test out. Um, obviously under the condition I'm going to be very honest about my results. But if you want to check her out, uh, or I should say if you want to check her link out, it will be down in the description as well. Starting next week, I'm going to be trying to do daily clips, and I'll put them together at the end of each week to let you know what results, if any, I'm seeing from these products. Um, I am really cautiously optimistic that they will be of benefit to me, and I hope uh, you guys will follow along, and uh, I hope you'll get something out of this uh, series that I'm doing uh, to inform you. Um, obviously, everyone's different. Results will vary. But uh, CBD is such a hot topic right now, I figured the best thing I could do is do a real uh, short series to pass information along to those of you who may be interested and may need it. After the actual unboxing video, which isn't all that exciting, I encourage you to stick around for the interview with Angela Orr. She ended up being such a great guest and doing such a fine job, uh, really to her credit more than mine, that I pretty much have run the clip uh, in its entirety. So I hope you get a lot out of this. I hope you find some information. If you have questions about CBD products, post them in the link. Um, and as always, you can email me at josephofborg at gmail.com. So I got my box of my CBD stuff. I was really pleased to see it's really not marked much. Just a couple of basic shipping labels with my name and stuff on it. Nothing uh, to indicate what's inside because, you know, everybody likes a different level of discretion. Sorry, I'm afraid that's not going to be much to see given my fine motor skills being what they are and having to use a hand, obviously, to hold the phone. All right, got my invoice. Got, looks like I got four items. Looks to be well insulated. Well, air packs keep everything safe. I do want to comment while I'm doing this. I spoke to somebody about these products and uh, whether they could go to every state because I had mentioned that I wasn't sure in my previous previous video. And uh, I was told, and of course I would check with your local regulations since it's your ass on the line, that since these have zero THC, uh, they can ship them to all 50 states. We wish I had a little longer focus on this camera. This appears to be the Hemp Oil Soft Gels. I will take pictures of all these labels and post them for you since catching them with my camera and my shaky hands is going to be problematic. Packed in this little bubble wrap looks to be my drop, so I'll uh, open that and we'll pick right back up. This is called Hydro Pro Ultra Premium Grade USA Grown Hemp Oil Drops. 
Nano Enhanced Absorption Technology. Again, I'll take pictures of these labels. Looks like it's sweet mint, so hopefully it won't taste too bad. I will confess, when I've tried edibles in the past, I often haven't been a fan because of the flavor. And this is obviously the balm. I'll uh, open that up. This is the uh, topical balm. Soothe blend. Um, same thing. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll put the labels up. Uh, obviously it's sealed. Uh, packaging is nice, all nice and secure. Looks like a quality label and everything. I mean, I know that doesn't mean much to what's inside. I'm not stupid, but um, when a company goes out of their way to invest in their packaging, it definitely says something about the company. And these are, it looks like it's some type of a drink. Yeah, it makes a beverage. So um, I will be opening these further and shooting more video. Uh, but here's the contents of what I got. Again, the balm, the gel caps, the drops, and the drink mix. So all came in this little box, nicely packaged. So I will uh, open these individual items up and give you some review when I get a chance. Maybe I can find a way to use my webcam so it'll be less shaky. I wanted to take a minute and show you guys the hemp gel tablets. Uh, they're capsules. I just opened them. I'm going to dump them in this bowl. As you can see, they look pretty much like any other gel cap. Um, I didn't see the quantity on the outside of the bottle. It's probably there and I'm just not able to read it because the printing is, in fairness, quite small. Just to give you, here's my finger for a scale size. Um, I guess I'm a little surprised there's not more of them given the amount I think I'm supposed to take, but I'm going to double check on that. All right, uh, this is the balm. Um, it looks like a balm. I didn't really expect anything miraculous. Uh, I wish my phone uh, focused a little better. But uh, this is the hemp balm. Again, for scale, there it is in relation to my thumb. So, uh, why don't you go ahead and give us a little bit of your background and your role with uh, the company? Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I'm really excited uh, to be on with you today. My name is Angela Orr. As I said, I am a pharmacist and I've been in the pharmacy area this year for 41 years. So uh, I know I don't look it, but uh, so as I've seen a lot of changes, uh, good and bad in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, one of the things that uh, I have noticed over the years, though, is um, we have gotten more and more away from natural ways to help somebody heal or to treat diseases or diseases have come about uh, because of um, what we're doing to ourselves and our bodies. So what I, I was diagnosed in overcame breast cancer six years ago, and I during that time, it really open my eyes about what I'm doing to my body and the things that are working and aren't working. So I've been more in a natural, uh, heal, natural pathic type of um, road since then. And with that, uh, in the last uh, couple of years, I've really looked here in Maine. Um, they have, um, they introduced medical marijuana several years ago and then legalization of recreational use, as well as um, CBD and use of those type of products. So I became very interested in, along with my, you know, as I said, my focus towards more natural. And I really have started, I really started to research CBD and I think, I thought it was a great industry uh, for me to partake in and to help my patients with things other than just pills. So um, about a year, not even a year ago, towards the end of last year, I was introduced to Live Labs. And Live Labs is a um, direct sales company that has 
ultra premium CDB, CBD products. And um, what I really loved about them when I was researching the company are some things that I'll go into uh, detail in a few minutes. But when they say ultra premium, that's exactly what they what you're getting are premium products that you can trust and that I know work because I've seen it personally as well as I've seen so many of the testimonials. Um, and some of the things that I'll go over also is something to think about if you're looking at CBD because not all CBDs are equal. There are many things that you should ask before you start taking a product. So what do you think some of the uh, biggest uh, things people should be asking are? So <clears throat> one of the biggest thing that you want to ask is where is the CBD from? So first I'd like to explain a little bit. People um, may not realize or have a misconception of CBD. So CBD is cannabinoid and that is a, in, um, a byproduct from processing out of the hemp or the marijuana plant. A lot of people do not realize that hemp is not marijuana. They're two separate plants, and the biggest difference between the two plants is that marijuana has a higher THC level, whereas the hemp plant has a lower THC level. And so therefore, they're two separate plants, and um, you know, I, I like to always address that misconception first. Um, there's not only CBD, there's a multitude of CBDs in the plant. Uh, that is, there's more than one compound, as well as there are other compounds called terpenes and different things that your body um, uses when you take these in to help with uh, the different things that it helps. So the first and foremost thing to know is, is this a full spectrum or broad spectrum CBD and where is it from? And what I mean by full spectrum is that it is processed so that all of the compounds that are in there naturally come through. Some products um, have only isolate, which means, which means that they take only one strain of the CBD or you know they process out some of the other things or some of the compounds and it's just not as effective. For general use, a broad or fuller spectrum is the best. So I would ask, where is it from? Where is it grown? How is it processed? Uh, for instance, with Live Labs, we have what we call vertical integration, which means that we are basically seed to, to the bottle, or actually seed to um, seal is a good way to put it. So that means we control everything or we have a strategic partner and everything is done by that strategic partner. From getting the seeds, planting it, ours is grown at a, an organic uh, farm in Colorado and it is grown there, it is processed there. There's a 100,000 square foot processing facility. It is processed, processed um, as I said, it's grown organically. It is uh, processed using non-toxic chemicals or non-toxic a way to that we uh, extract the CBDs out of the hemp plant. And the other thing that we do that's very different is we have nanotechnology, um, a nanotechnology process, which is patent pending. And what that means is that the molecules are broken down smaller so that they're more easily absorbed. Our product is 70% or more absorbed, whereas some of the pro products out there, they're larger molecules. So therefore, if you take the oil, because it's generally an oil, and put it, say, in water, you'll see it floating. Ours, when you put it in water, it will actually disperse. And because the body is made up mostly of water, you have more absorption of our product. So something that you might buy at the you know, you see at the liquor store, you see at the convenience store, it might be, if you're lucky, 10 or 20% absorbed, whereas ours is 70% or more absorbed. The other thing, as I, as I was saying, you want to know where your CBD is from is some 
places imported from other countries like China and things like that. They're in this process with, uh, if you look at the ingredients it's, or how it's processed, if you really knew, there's a lot of chemicals and a lot of ways that it is extracted out um, that actually had, can introduce harm versus uh, helping. That's been a big issue uh, here in Nevada, everything that they sell in the marijuana dispensaries, uh, whether it's CBD or THC uh, uh, as its, I guess, focus ingredient is is testing of it because exactly, that's exactly true, especially when it comes to the distillates, uh, the waxes and stuff that I don't really, I'm not really have an interest in personally, but, you know, when you've got people using things like butane and whatnot to extract. Formaldehyde. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, is you another know. one that they use a lot, and it's like you do not want to say formaldehyde. Yeah, exactly. You don't want that. So, um, yeah, that's no, that sounds exactly. like a really good point. And that's, you know, really important, especially for smaller ones. Even dispensaries here in Maine can, you know, sell the CBD but you just don't know where it's from. So the other thing that I would ask is, first I would ask, where is it from? How is it processed? Is there verifiable outside testing? So for instance, Live Labs, we actually have the documentation where it has been verified, A, that it um, does have the, the ingredients in it that it should have, B, that there is no, ours is guaranteed 0% TH, THC. So those who don't want to get high or are afraid, you know, they don't want to be taking that or will it, you know, affect my um, urine test for work or whatever. Ours does not because it's guaranteed. And we have the documentation that we can provide to people. It's actually right on our, one of our websites. You know, I had a customer here in Maine who was going to a dispensary with her uh, father-in-law and she asked for that documentation and they said, oh, we have it, but you can't see it. Well, that doesn't do you much good if you can't see it. Exactly. So um, you also want to make sure not only, you know, all of those uh, technical points, but you also want to make sure it's free of mold or that there's no nothing growing in it, you know, that type of thing. And we have, again, all of that, all of that tested and verified by an outside third party independent, um, um, independent party. We, uh, the other thing that I would ask, you know, if you're looking at uh, CBD products is, um, for instance, our facility, it uh, follows GMP, which is good manufacture, manufacturing practices. And as a pharmacist, that's really important because if you say that you use GMP, your facility has to be inspected and you have to follow certain manufacturing guidelines in order to even be deemed that. So you know, to me, that just really um, adds to the quality. Um, that you can really depend on what we say we do, we do. Excellent, excellent. I noticed that's one of the first things I noticed when I opened up the uh, the package. I just got it last week or so, and I'm going to be starting the product Monday. Was you know your packaging, your labeling had a lot of information. Uh, in fact, it was so much information in such print that I had almost a hard time reading it. Whereas yeah. you know most of them, you CBD balm. And that's it. And it's like, okay, you know, and I think that's really a, a huge thing, um, you know, in, in as marijuana products and hemp products have come on the market to know what you're getting is so vital because you certainly wouldn't trust the guy down the street if you had pneumonia to whip you up a batch of antibiotics. Oh, that's a very good point. I like the way you said that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to feel free. It. <laughs> feel free, feel free. That's true, you wouldn't. So why would you, right. you know, uh, want somebody down the road or, you know, buying it at the liquor store? Right. Uh, you know, when people say, oh, I've tried CBD and it doesn't work, you know, well, my question is, what kind of quality was it? And was it a true uh, full spectrum, high quality, ultra premium CBD product? Because if you tried that, you would notice a difference immediately. Well, one of the big things that uh, when uh, – I looked at the company, one of the big things that worked for me or or made me want to try it, because I tried some products early on a little bit, you know, try this salve on the back of your hand, yeah, whatever, you know, the tester at the dispensary or whatever, but uh, everybody, it's one of those things, everybody tells you, oh, but ours is different, but this was the first time they were able really to explain to me and show me mm -hmm. how it's different, just to claim you're different 
right. uh, or it's different is one thing to being able to actually explain it's different and how in a way that really is able for people to break down. We all know our bodies are mostly water and uh, you know, I not to be uh, icky about it, I guess, but I've, I've dealt with a lot of people out here in Nevada who have made their own Rick Simpson oil, uh, l largely for cancer patients. And they'll literally talk about, they take these large doses of it, but when they go to the bathroom, yep. they can literally see it floating on the surface yep. of the water. Well then, yep. you know, it's, it's kind of like corn, right? I mean, I'm not trying to be vulgar, but you know, if it looks just so like it like did when it comes out, then how much could you have really gotten out of it? Exactly. That's exactly it. And when you see an oil, like I had a customer out here who had gone to a dispensary and, um, well, her mom. And um, first of all, it's, it's really hard sometimes, especially people who are really sick, you know, to they're, or they're a little older. They don't want to have to ask for a medical marijuana card, even if they're going to get the CBD from hemp and not necessarily from marijuana. And then you have to get them to a dispensary, which kind of is in, um, a difficult for a lot of people or they're embarrassed. They don't want to do that. Um, a lot of them just aren't in nice neighborhoods too. You know? Exactly. And it's just like, and then, you know, some of them you have to like kind of rain to get in. So it's yeah. you know, security armed guards there. So it's just really not quite the experience that people want to always have. And then for her mother to get the dose that she really needed, she was going to have to take like a half a cup of oil. And it's like, who can drink? Yeah. It's a lot something? of oil. And she's, um, um, it got some mental dementia type things going on. But anyway, so it's like, you're not going to be able to get somebody. And with ours, she was able to do just, you know, put a little bit in her water or her coffee or whatever. And, and, and then her mom was able to take it. So, you know, it was a huge difference. Fantastic. As I said, the important things are, where is it from? How is it processed? What type of quality control goes into testing of the um, product? Can you see that? The other thing that I would say is look at the ingredients. So for ours, what's really interesting is that our hydro gel drops are, um, you know, our flagship product. And each dose has 35 milligrams of CBD and a dose is two dropper fulls. And a lot of people say, well, mine is 500 milligrams or 550, but it's very deceiving. If you look at the bottle, it's 500 or 550 or whatever per bottle. Right. Not per dose. Right. And also, it's not apples to apples because how much of it are you absorbing? And all we have in there is basically the, the, the CBD compounds in, in an oil so that it's absorbed. Our soft gel caps is 25 milligram, um, but it also has 10 milligrams of curcumin in it. Curcumin is a, um, one of the active ingredients of turmeric, which is a... Um, a spice that they use a lot in Indian or Middle Eastern, but it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So in the body, your, so your body has an endocannabinoid system. This was discovered in the last 20 years. You have a circulatory system, you have a digestive system, you have a nervous system. This endocannabinoid system we didn't even know about it up until about 20 years ago because people were wondering and research started how, why does uh, cannabinoids or CBD, why is it making a difference for people? And what they found is that we have an endocannabinoid system and we used to get cannabinoids 30, 40 years ago because hemp was widely used as a feed for animals. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, also taken in by uh, people who made medicinal things out of it. Hemp is also used because it's uh, quite a, uh, it, it is a, the type of product that you can make a lot of different things out of. You can make rope, you can make like hemp rope, paper, you could actually make even clothing and that type of thing with it. But you can also take it in or you could use it, as I said, like for feed. So we were feeding our endocannabinoid system up until about 30 years ago when unfortunately it got linked with marijuana because it's a cousin plant and all of it was outlawed and we couldn't really intake it. Now that the it's been coming back into the limelight 
as far as using it and getting great results, even if it's not all documented scientifically, but even anecdotally, although more and more studies are being done on how cannabinoids really help the body, it feeds this system. And therefore, that's why it's very good for um, it, anti inflammatory properties. It helps with uh, the endocannabinoid system, is really concentrated in the brain and in the gut area. So those two areas seem to benefit the most, but that's because you're feeding those receptors that have been starved of the cannabinoids. And that's why a lot of people get a lot of different results. So you may need something different from the uh, cannabinoids or CBD than I do. So it's gonna work a little differently in everybody. They're not gonna, not everybody's gonna have the same result. The other thing that's really interesting about CBD is that it is, uh, as you take it, you get a cumulative effect. So therefore, you may think, well, I'm feeling better and better. And it's because it's building on itself and you start to feel better and better as time goes on, as you feed those uh, receptors consistently over time. The other thing about hemp that's really interesting is that it grows fast, as I said, and it's quite a renewable source uh, for a lot of different things. But it also is like the sponge of the earth. So it, it, so even if it's grown organically, if it's grown in soil that has been um, uh, polluted in the past or has been over farmed or whatever it may be, or there, so because if you're over farmed, you don't have as many minerals in right. the soil as if it's not. So it's really important that it's grown because it'll, it's like a sponge. It'll grow. All of that will go right up into the plant as it grows. So that's why it's really great to not only have organic, but also in uh, farms and land that have not been overused. That's why our, um, is our, where we grow ours and the farm that we have a strategic partnership with is in Colorado and it has pristine growing conditions. The um, so going back to our products, so the uh, capsules you use one a day. So our bottle has 30 capsules in it. Each of our products have about a month's worth in the containers. The balm that we have, we have a balm, it is one of the strongest balms that I've seen out there. It's a, it's a one ounce balm and it is has a thousand milligrams of CBD in the container. So you just need a little bit. It also has beeswax and some lavender, eucalyptus, and all these different ingredients that are all, again, synergistically, they work together, and they're anti-inflammatory as well as antibacterial. And you can put the balm on and feel something, you know, feel the difference within 15 seconds to a minute. It is amazing um, because the, the, the carrier carriers, our scientists who developed these products really thought a lot about how to synergistically get the ingredients together uh, to really make a big difference and quickly. Then our last product that we have is called, that we have currently, uh, I didn't know that we're working on more coming out, we have Slender Hemp, which is a weight management. It's not just weight loss, but it's weight management. So it has 10 milligrams of CBD in there, but it has six other ingredients. So there's seven ingredients, and I won't go through all of them in detail. It's on the package and on our website. But let's, it, it has fat metabolism, uh, appetite suppressant, um, uh, it, it carb, it helps to reduce the intake of, or the absorption of carb, carbs. So a lot of these ingredients are in some products out there currently, but sometimes people will take like those fat burners or the, these different things and say, Ooh, I can't take it. It makes me too on the edge. You know, it makes me a little edgy and stuff, but the CBD in ours helps to kind of calm that down. But the ingredients again, synergistically, um, it has a neurotropic effect, so a clarity thing, you know, neurotropic is that you have clarity of thinking, uh, sustained energy, uh, as well as appetite suppression. So it's a really unique product, something that I have not seen on the market at all. And it is, my sister lost, has lost 47 pounds in three months using these wow. products. Oh, and the, the before and after picture is amazing, just amazing. Uh, I'll send you a picture of it after we get off the after we get off this. So those are the uh, products so far.
And then we have other ones that we're looking at bringing out this year, which I'm really excited about. Um, one of the things that our company has done also that is different than a lot of other companies is we have a healthcare advisory, healthcare professional advisory council. And what this council is responsible, so there's two physicians, myself as a pharmacist, and there's also a vet on our council. So that may be a little clue as to what is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh with so we're just that we're uh the foundational members of this council and what the council is going to do what i really appreciate about the company is that we don't want to just have products out there because cbd is uh the limelight and the the you know the buzz of the town right now we want to make are uh, premium quality and make a difference. I'm going so to ask, council, I'm going to interrupt you for a second and ask you to back up. Um, is just really, after you said talk of the ahead. town. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to ask you to back up just a minute because just after you said uh, about CBD being the talk of the town, uh, I lagged and now you're back live and streaming well again. Yep. So if you want to maybe pick up from there about CBD being the talk of the town and we'll uh, just so that I can get it cohesive. Okay, so what our company wants to do is put out premium products that really make a difference for, for people. We don't want to just have, you know, CBD is the talk of the town or it's really kind of in the limelight right now. And certainly that's something to capitalize on, but it, 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 you, we want to do that providing value. So what our company has decided to do is to put together a panel, as I said, of healthcare professionals, who can help guide our company in, you know, I think providing information, uh, maybe even doing, you know, some um, putting together uh, studies or just really helping from a healthcare professional perspective. How can we talk to other healthcare professionals or what can we provide so that they can know for their patients what, what these products are and what they can do? Excellent. As I said, the important things are, where is it from? How is it processed? What type of quality control goes into testing of the um, product? Can you see that? The other thing that I would say is look at the ingredients. So for ours, what's really interesting is that our hydro gel drops are, um, you know, our flagship product. And each dose has 35 milligrams of CBD and a dose is two dropper fulls. And a lot of people say, well, mine is 500 milligrams or 550, but it's very deceiving. If you look at the bottle, it's 500 or 550 or whatever per bottle. Right. Not per dose. Right. And also it's not apples to apples because how much of it are you absorbing? And all we have in there is basically the, the, the CBD compounds in, in an oil so that it's absorbed. Our soft gel caps is 25 milligram. Um, but it also has 10 milligrams of curcumin in it. Curcumin is a, um, one of the active ingredients of turmeric, which is a, um, a spice that they use a lot in Indian or Middle Eastern, but it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So in the body, your, so your body has an endocannabinoid system. This was discovered in the last 20 years. You have a circulatory system, you have a digestive system, you have a nervous system. This endocannabinoid system, we didn't even know about it up until about 20 years ago because people were wondering and research started, how, why does uh, cannabinoids or CBD, why is it making a difference for people? And what they found is that we have an endocannabinoid system. And we used to get cannabinoids 30, 40 years ago because hemp was widely used as a feed for animals. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, also taken in by uh, people who made medicinal things out of it. Hemp is also used because it's uh, quite a, uh, it, it is a, the type of product that you can make a lot of different things out of. You can make rope, you can make like hemp rope, paper, you could actually make even clothing and that type of thing with it, but you can also take it in or you could use it, as I said, like for feed. So we were feeding our endocannabinoid system 
up until about 30 years ago when unfortunately it got linked with marijuana because it's a cousin plant and all of it was outlawed and we couldn't really intake it. Now that the it's been coming back into the limelight as far as using it and getting great results, even if it's not all documented scientifically, but even anecdotally, although more and more studies are being done on how cannabinoids really help the body, it feeds this system. And therefore, that's why it's very good for um, it, anti-inflammatory properties. It helps with uh, the endocannabinoid system is really concentrated in the brain and in the gut area. So those two areas seem to benefit the most, but that's because you're feeding those receptors that have been starved of the cannabinoids. And that's why a lot of people get a lot of different results. So you may need something different from the uh, cannabinoids or CBD than I do. So it's going to work a little differently in everybody. They're not going to, not everybody's going to have the same result. The other thing that's really interesting about CBD is that it is, uh, as you take it, you get a cumulative effect. So therefore you may think, well, I'm feeling better and better. And it's because it's building on itself and you start to feel better and better as time goes on, as you feed those uh, receptors consistently over time. The other thing about hemp that's really interesting is that it grows fast, as I said, and it's quite a renewable source uh, for a lot of different things. But it also is like the sponge of the earth. So it, it so even if it's grown organically, if it's grown in soil that has been um, uh, polluted in the past or has been over farmed or whatever it may be, or there, so because if you're over farmed, you don't have as many minerals in right. the soil as if it's not. So it's really important that it's grown because it'll, it's like a sponge. It'll grow. All of that will go right up into the plant as it grows. So that's why it's really great to not only have organic, but also in uh, farms and land that have not been overused. That's why our, um, is our, where we grow ours and the farm that we have a strategic partnership with is in Colorado and it has pristine growing conditions. The um, so going back to our products, so the uh, capsules you use one a day. So our bottle has 30 capsules in it. Each of our products have about a month's worth in the containers. The balm that we have, we have a balm, it is one of the strongest balms that I've seen out there. It's a, it's a one ounce balm and it is has a thousand milligrams of CBD in the container. So you just need a little bit. It also has beeswax and some lavender, eucalyptus, and all these different ingredients that are all, again, synergistically, they work together, and they're anti-inflammatory as well as antibacterial. And you can put the balm on and feel something, you know, feel the difference within 15 seconds to a minute. It is amazing um, because the, the, the carrier carriers, our scientists who develop these products really thought a lot about how to synergistically get the ingredients together uh, to really make a big difference and quickly. Then our last product that we have is called, that we have currently, uh, I didn't know that we're working on more coming out, we have Slender Hemp, which is a weight management. It's not just weight loss, but it's weight management. So it has 10 milligrams of CBD in there, but it has six other ingredients. So there's seven ingredients, and I won't go through all of them in detail. It's on the package and on our website. But let's, it, it has fat metabolism, uh, appetite suppressant, um, uh, it, it carb, it helps to reduce the intake of, or the absorption of carb, carbs. So a lot of these ingredients are in some products out there currently, but sometimes people will take like those fat burners or the, these different things and say, Ooh, I can't take it. It makes me too on the edge. You know, it makes me a little edgy and stuff, but the CBD in ours helps to kind of calm that down. But the ingredients again, synergistically, um, it has a neurotropic effect. So a clarity thing, you know, neurotropic is that you have clarity of thinking, uh, sustained energy, uh, as well as appetite suppression. So it's a really unique product, something that I have not seen on the market at all. And it is, my sister lost, has lost 47 pounds in three months using these wow. products. 
Oh, and the, the before and after picture is amazing. Just amazing. Uh, I'll send you a picture of it after we get off the, after we get off this. So those are the uh, products so far. And then we have other ones that we're looking at bringing out this year, which I'm really excited about. Um, one of the things that our company has done also that is different than a lot of other companies is we have a healthcare advisory, healthcare professional advisory council. And what this council is response, so there's two physicians, myself as a pharmacist, and there's also a vet on our council. So that may be a little clue as to what is coming up. <laughs> 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 so uh with so we're just the we're uh the foundational members of this council and what the council is going to do what i really appreciate about the company is that we don't want to just have products out there because cbd is uh the limelight and the the you know the buzz of the town right now so what our company wants to do is put out premium products that really make a difference for, for people we don't want to just have you know cbd is the talk of the town or it's really kind of in the limelight right now and certainly that's something to capitalize on but it it, it you, we want to do that providing value so what our company has decided to do is to put together a panel as i said of healthcare professionals who can help guide our company and you know i think providing information uh maybe even doing you know some um putting together uh studies or just really helping from a healthcare professional perspective how can we talk to other healthcare professionals or what can we provide so that they can know for their patients what what these products are and what they can do excellent I, I call it the green rush. You know, it's kind of like during the gold rush. You got not everybody, whenever there is a large amount of money mm -hmm. at stake, mm -hmm. there are nefarious people who will seek to make money through nefarious means. And that's one of the things that, you know, I was, I was so happy to hear about you guys, you know, your controls and knowing where it's coming from. Because, mm -hmm. you know, not to slam on China, Okay, but I mean, how many products have we had come from China that have ended up being problematic? I know I'm from the Midwest originally, and they had the Chinese drywall was a huge problem because there was corrosive gases being given off by the drywall. It was corroding people's plumbing fixtures, for God's sake. Oh so what's it doing to your lungs? Uh, exactly. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um is there anything else big that you want to hit before I uh, we we start to wrap this up? Uh, big big points or other things that you wanted to uh, address that you think people should know? Um, I tried to you know I you made seemed a, like you were pretty thorough. I was just say I, I had kind of made a list of the that's why I looked over a few times a list of the key points. So I think that that was pretty. I hope. Was there anything that you think that I was missing? I think you picked up pretty much everything that I was even pondering to, to ask you. I think you, you pretty much answered along the way. So I think that I'm going to be able to use this really well to uh, put together uh, uh, some information for the, for the people who are watching my show. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to start, start using this stuff on Monday. I'm excited to try it, but I've been having some some pain flares and the weather's been crazy here. So, but um, I don't really have anything else. I've, you've got me plenty of material and time here that for me to cut down. And, and I really think it's going to bring value to the, to the viewers. So Absolutely. I really want to thank you for spending the time with me today. Well, I hope you really got something out of that. I know I got some good information. I felt like I came away knowing more than I did going in. I really want to thank you for taking the time to watch this. I hope you will subscribe, click the bell so that you can find uh, the updates as I post them on this topic, as well as my normal episodes of Surfing the Pain and uh, the other topics that I cover. I hope you found value in this. Again, I want to thank you for spending the time to watch this. Joseph of Borg, I'm out of here. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.